Hey guys, welcome back. For today's video tutorial, I'm gonna set up a new sensor that is MPL 115A2. To gain more knowledge about this sensor and to know what exactly the sensor is, let's have a look over the website that is controleverything.com and search this sensor. Now we got that MPL 115A2 is a digital barometer 50 to 115 kilopascal. Now these are some of its features which you can look upon it and you can purchase this sensor obviously. So I will be interfacing the sensor MPL 115A2 with an Arduino Nano and for that a code is required. To get the code let's go to resource tab and here is the Arduino code sample. You can download the code sample from this very site, uh, download as a zip file from here. You can have the privilege to download the code from github.com and the repository is a control everything community. You can download from there also. So you can have two ways and you can have either the way you can download the code. Now what we require is the connections, the hardware, the products and let's make some for that. Now what we require is our sensor that is MPL 115A2 a digital barometer and the next thing is an Arduino Nano which you are able to see on my screen. Now the reason why we use an I2C shield which is available on the website controlleverything.com and you are able to see on my screen this is uh, is to make connections with other I2C devices, sensors and Arduino Nano a lot easier, the job a lot easier. So make this connection and gently place over the Arduino Nano over the I2C shield. Now we require a connecting cable. This is the binding factor which makes a connection among the sensor and the Arduino Nano and make this connection. Making sure that the brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and similarly to the I2C shield like this. Now to power up our Arduino Nano we require a mini USB cable just like this and gently insert it over the power jack. Now light it up. Hence the connection part is done. Now what we require is our code to check, to explain and to see how it works with the sensor. Let's go forward. Now as we have done the part for the hardware connections, now we require an Arduino code so that we can interface the sensor with that and for that first of all log into github.com and here comes the search github where we have to search for control everything community that is our repository. Now here this is the sensor we are looking forward and this is a code we would like to check. Now before that let's have a look over the instruction. We have to download and install the Arduino software on our local machine and this is the link www.arduino.cc as you can see on my screen. For better clarification let's go to the link and here we can download the software and install it on Windows, Mac or Linux operating system. Please do it carefully before running the code. Now get back to the code we are talking about and it's a .in extension. Now, here we have included the wire.h library which have all the functionalities we might need in later in this code and we have defined the address of the sensor that is 0x60. Now here we have some initialization of some variables and in the void setup function we have initialized i2c communication with serial communication equal to power rate with 9600 value. Now here we have for loop function which will turn up 8 times and we have selection of data register and 4 plus i is the data register i starting from 0. Now here we have requested and read 1 byte which will constitute uh, to 8 bytes after this for loop completion and here the conversion of the data take place which we have just read. Now in the void loop function writing section is there first of all uh, so we have send pressure and measurement command which gives us 0x12 write command and we have started the conversion which gives us 0x00. Now here we have selected the data register 0x00 and requested and read 4 bytes of data. We are doing it continuously so that we can have the values and the values are being converted here as you can see on my screen. It's a 10 bit value and pressure and temperature. Similarly calculation of pressure compensation and conversion of the data we have earlier calculated takes place here. At the very end of our code, we have the output data on the serial monitor which has been formatted accordingly as pressure in kilopascal, temperature in Celsius and Fahrenheit. So this is how the code looks like. Now why don't we have a look how it works. So let's proceed further. 
well now for the walking part let's provide a walking track so copy this entire code of the Arduino and open up the Arduino terminal here now paste this entire code and save it and MPL double one double one five A2 is the name of the sensor and save it and now verify and compile the code it's done now upload the code it sometimes take a while to be upload so let's wait it's done uploading now we have to check for the results which will be on the serial monitor so for that open up the serial monitor as you can see on my screen pressure and temperature is visible on the screen uh, now when I apply some pressure over the sensor as you can see there is a change in pressure along with the temperature now it again goes back to normal now when I again apply some pressure it will climb up again so this is how a code works Arduino code works with this particular sensor MPL115 A2 now why don't we have a look over the benefits the features and the applications so why do we use this particular sensor for a lot of applications let's check it the MPL115 A2 employs a MEMS pressure sensor with a conditioning IC to provide accurate pressure measurements from 50 to 115 kilopascal and integrated ADC converts pressure and temperature sensor readings to a digitized outputs via an I2C port. Factory calibration data is stored internally in an onboard room. Now these features make it very useful for applications like barometry, altimeters, weather stations, industrial equipment, air control systems and health monitoring and a lot. Now you can purchase the sensor from the website as you can see on my screen and you can get the code from the resource tab and after that you can download it from them. Also you can get the code from github repository and that's control everything community. Well you have seen the explanation the working the hardware connections part. So I would like to make it clear that in case if you have any kind of doubt regarding fully understanding of any part of this video till now you can have your queries on the control everything.com and you can contact me there also you can post your comments your issues on the community page of this website now for articles and blogs relevant to this video you can catch me up on instructables.com also for more video tutorials you can subscribe youtube channel just shown like here now i hope you enjoyed this video and have yourself a good one Thanks for watching.